Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I wanted to do a first impression on the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. And it's their newest palette. I actually have seen them release another glow palette that's coming out. Which is so fast because this one just came out. But I'm going to do a first impression on the Nicole Guerrero palette. First of all, the packaging. It comes in this little pink, silvery, reflective, glittery pink packaging which I love it's so pretty and it has her name here and just love it. it's like basic packaging for all of her glow kits and when you take it out it's like kind of the same thing and when I first saw it I was just so mesmerized by all the glitter on this like the packaging is so pretty and then when you go in the palette it's like this and it has like a little plastic thing on it like this I have tried this out a couple times I haven't fully tried it out but it looks like this. It's so beautiful. And I feel like this will accommodate a lot of skin tones just because it has a nice like white color for really pale people. A nice in-between kind of mix for like medium tones with here with Glow Getter and Forever Lit. And you can have some fun with like the pink highlighters like here. And then if you're a darker skin tone, you could always wear this. And it's just like a very versatile palette and it's very cute. Um, but I'm going to try these out for you right now now this retails for like 45 either 45 or 40 dollars like their usual palettes now i am going to swatch all these uh on for you right now first is forever lit it's i feel like this is a really reflective white color but it is very white very very white on me it would probably look too pale but um or white I guess but if you have a light skin tone I feel like this would look really cool it has a nice kind of reflective thing going on right now because I feel like if you turned a certain way in the light there's a tad of blue I feel like I don't know and like lighting it could like be different colors but yeah the color I'm going to swatch is kitty cat a very beautiful like peachy pink color So that is Kitty Cat Natural Lighting. Very pigmented, very pink, peachy. Love this color. Next one I'm gonna swatch is Forever Young. This is like a nice kind of pinky, goldeny, champagne color that is gonna be like a favorite among a lot of people. Yeah, that is Forever Young. Next color I'm going to try on is Glow Getter. This is a nice golden highlight. That is banging. That is Glow Getter. It's a nice golden color. I did try it on and it's not as dark as you would think it is. If you mix certain colors together, it is very beautiful. Next, I'm going to try on Daydream. It's a really pink, peachy color, which you could use as a blush topper, I think. But go crazy in the highlight if you want. So this is Daydream. It is very pink compared to the rest of them. Still has a nice reflective kind of glow to it. But yeah, I do, I would use this as a blush topper more than a highlight. But either way, you could go with either one. And next I'm going to try on 143, which is the darkest shade. This one is very pigmented. It's a nice bronze golden kind of shade. And it looks like this. I'm going to tilt my arm just so you guys can see. Those are all the colors. It's a lot more reflective when you put it on though. Now people have also been asking if this is glittery. Now, I personally think that it could be a little glittery for some people. Now, it is not like your glittery highlight, like very glittery where you can see like glitter, like sparkles coming out. But I do feel like it is, it has a nice sheen. It could have like a tiny bit of, not even like, if it's glitter, it's not even like glitter that's just like, you know, glitter. It's a very fine. I don't feel like there's very much at all. Actually, when I swatch them, it's just like a nice sheen. 
when you look in the palette it does look like there'd be a lot of glitter in it but I actually don't think there's much maybe a little bit that's all I'm gonna say but now I'm going to try them on my face so you guys can see what they look like and for my highlight I'm going to use my Morphe highlight brush I'm going to be using the Morphe Y14 their golden collection and first shade I'm going to go in with is kitty cat I want to try this one on just because this is like the most intriguing one to me and we're gonna see how that goes now we're gonna do it on this cheek oh my god wow oh my god that is well wow. okay I've tried it's just so amazing when you put it on it I've tried this but it just surprised me of how much glow this has like look Like, I didn't even, oh my gosh. Girl. I'll be blinding all you right now. This is so blinding. Oh my god. Girl. Here. Like, Nikki Tutorials glow. This is that kind of glow. This is so pretty. I'm in love with this shade so much. Okay, as pretty as this is, I am going to, no, I'm going to leave it. And on this side, I'm going to use the shade Glow Getter, a more goldeny shade so you guys can see what that looks like. This is like a very light kind of pinky shade, which I am in love with. But I'm going to try Glow Getter to see how that works out. And let's get to it. This is a very beautiful golden shade, I feel like. Like, it does pack in the glow as well. Now, as you can see, this one does have a lot of glow to it. It's more of like a golden glow if you're, like, very into, like, golden glows. I guess it's, you could also use it for medium and dark skin tones. But I feel like you'll look good on it. This is that one. I am going to put a little bit of Forever Young just to see how that works out. That intensified it a little. Yeah, it did. That intensified the glow a lot. But this one is just my fave. This is really pretty for a golden, but if you want to blind people, do this one. Now for my nose highlight, I'm going to use Forever, Forever Late. Oh. I just got on the tip of my nose. Also gonna put that on my lip. I want to put Forever Lit on my inner corners. Oh yeah, this could be a major inner corner. Whoa, that is a white but very blinding inner corner highlight. A little bit holographic too, which is cool. Oh yeah, you will blind everybody with this. Your inner corner will blind people. Girl, put like a little bit here. Just... Yep. Blinded. I'm just loving all of this. Okay, sold. My final impressions on this is that this is blinding and gorgeous. I haven't tried all the glow kits, but I feel like this one has been one of their best. So not one of their best, but like has been a good one so far. Like their last one, like glow kit, their like other glow kit was like way too glittery and it wasn't like their best, but this one is so good. Nicole Guerrero, good job on this. These highlights are blinding a up. And I'm in love with this. It like gives your face such a, like a wet type of glow look. And I love it. And also, if you're going to prom and you're looking for a highlight, um, get this one. It is a nice glow palette. My favorite one has been Kitty Cat so far. It is beautiful. This is Kitty Cat. This is beautiful. I feel like this is my favorite. Glow Getter is beautiful if you want like a golden 
Daydream is just like your simple champagne, but it is pretty. And forever lit is blinding AF. Beautiful. And these are great if you want to do like your eyeshadow. You put like a little bit of bronzy kind of copperish on your eyeshadow. I don't know why I did that, but I just did. But it, it's cool. It's okay. I just recommend this whole thing. It is beautiful. Pick this up at your local Sephora. It is gorgeous. And that's all I have to say about this. I recommend to everyone to get this one. I love this. My prop story will definitely have one of these highlights in it, and I'm going to have a tutorial on that up soon, and also a festival tutorial. But yeah, that is my first impressions on this product. Comment down below what other first impressions you want to see, and that is the video. Thank you guys for watching it. Like and subscribe to my channel, and be a part of the fam. But anyways, that is all for today's video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!